keep the clock grinding, keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second and goal from the one. They'll run it. This is pro size. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Luke Wilson, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by the all-pro free safety, Earl Thomas. Facing this fourth quarter deficit felt like they had to throw the ball and on the other side they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off and now big time in the driver's seat. Throwing is Wilson and this is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. He's going to air one out, and he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on third down. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down stitch. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers, and on that play, that's exactly what they did, and batted it away. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. So out now is the Seattle field goal team. This to make it a three-score game late. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. And you figure with that, this game's pretty well out of reach. It would take a heck of a comeback at this point. Being three scores down, I think that's too much to ask with time winding down here in the fourth. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great read, and it's picked off. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. Well, 
this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Well, I'd say that runs pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why their point's up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. Second and ten now, Wilson. That is caught inside the five. And eventually stopped just shy of the goal line right around the two. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. But there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Wilson will throw again. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. From the two-yard line yet again. Let's see what they can do on third and goal. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. Third and two, now Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Chris Matthews, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one <laughs> ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And they open the lead up now to 25 points. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Okay, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. On second down, here's Newton. Benjamin with it over the middle. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Newton on first down. Completes it to Moncrief, left side. 
A really nice pick up of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. Yeah, you got it. The Pick benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. On second down, they run with Stewart. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They come into enemy territory, and I don't care what the matchup is in the National Football League. You're up like this late in the game on the road. This feels pretty good. Oh, it feels fantastic. Anytime you get a road victory in the NFL, that's a big-time accomplishment. And to do it this convincingly, that just tears up the script that every home team has, which is nobody comes into our house and pushes us around. They took care of business today. Yeah, they pushed around, and now the final stages of this one. Now it's Wilson. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play-action pass, and completing it. Oh, Wilson going to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Lots of look to add the extra point. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in the game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. And they 
get to Newton and take him down for the sack. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Second down is Newton. Flinches with a catch over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Third down now following the completed pass. Third and long, it's Newton. Complete with just six seconds left on the clock. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now it's Lockett. A road win.